is it possible I could have this much makeup on and have it look like I have nothing on? Because I have a lot of makeup on. I mean, a lot. In January of 2018, this year, we set out with actual financial goals. No, seriously, we did. We just chose to ignore them completely. But it turned out even better, kinda. Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. My husband Mauricio, my seven-year-old Melina, and I are 33 months into our debt-free journey. 33 months. If you watch my intro video, I think I said in under three years, yeah. We're not even close. But in those 33 months, we have paid off over $188,000, which is pretty stinking incredible. But lately life has seemed to get in the way and when life starts getting in the way it's time to make some changes and that is exactly what we did in 2018. Much like a crash diet you really can only stay on the beans and rice diet for so long. Not that we're really on the beans and rice diet we're on the beans and rice with like steak and Chilean sea bass. But it, it truthfully when you deprive yourself there comes a point when Deprivation is really just too much and too hard and you just can't sustain it. And we have been committed from the beginning to show you the whole process. And we actually realized this very, very quickly into the process that if we cut absolutely everything out, we were never gonna make it. So we do actually put fun money and spending money and shopping money into our budget. It's not extreme. But we do have some, so we do have some flexibility in our budget every month that we can just spend if we want to. I think I'm of the philosophy I'd rather be debt free and have it take six extra months than not make it. So every year I get all the YouTubers from my frugal financial YouTube group where I'm an administrator over there. It's kind of ironic that I'm an administrator in a frugal YouTube group because I'm not frugal. Not even a little bit. I am a financial YouTuber though, so that's where that kicks in. So a bunch of us have gotten together and we're gonna talk about our wins and our fails, our ups and our downs, our highs and our lows. Basically whether we've met the goals we set out at the beginning of the year or not. So let's talk the pros and the cons of this year or our wins and fails, if you wanna call it that. Financial win number one, we paid off $79,680.99. And that 99 cents hurts me in a place in my soul that is slightly obsessive about order and organization. <laughs> one penny more, seriously. Why didn't I catch that earlier? But then it would have been $81 and it's a whole numbers thing. But that number is a full $15,000 more than we paid off in 2017 which is pretty cool. Financial win number two, we paid off our biggest loan, which was our Navy Federal Credit Union loan, which started out at $140,000. Financial win number three, we started a sinking fund so we could go on a trip to Columbia to visit Mauricio's family. Financial win number four, when we stopped succeeding and we started losing motivation, we totally changed things up and it actually worked. Financial win number five, we had our 2015 taxes redone by a tax professional. And that's why we were able to pay $15,000 more off this year than we did last year. Financial win number six, we signed up for an FSA for both medical and child care for 2019. We've had one before, but we wanted to make sure we were spending the appropriate amount before we signed up again. So we actually tracked for three years to get our averages, and then we went ahead and signed up. Financial win number seven, we decided to stay in this house where my parents live. And there's a lot of reasons for it. One, a little tiny portion was so we could pay off more debt, but that's actually not the primary reason. The biggest reason is to help out my parents. And coincidentally, staying in my parents' house is actually a financial fail, number one. Well, it's a fail, it's not a huge fail because we know it's the best decision for absolutely everyone involved. However, it was our primary goal for 2018 and we didn't achieve it. We didn't even come close. 
because our first step was to pay off that Navy Federal Credit Union loan. And once we paid that off, we were going to save up to move. By the time that rolled around, we just, we knew we weren't going anywhere. Financial fail number two, September, October, November. Yeah. If we had actually realized that we were suffering a lack of motivation after paying off our biggest loan, we probably would have changed things up more quickly and maybe we would have put in another 15, 10 to 15,000 into our debt payoff. Financial fail number three, we were over budget for Christmas, but we're always over budget. And um, this is like the closest to not over budget we've ever been. So that's kind of a win, right? Look at me putting a positive spin on stuff. Financial fail number four, our medical bills were redonkulous this year and we had no plan for them. We have a sinking fund for $750 for the deductible, but that's it. So this is something we will be absolutely addressing in 2019 because right now we got multiple issues going on that need to be dealt with. Relatively speaking, our wins were way bigger than our fails. It, not only number, but actual volume. I mean, we paid off a whole massive debt and we paid almost $80,000 to debt this year. So that's pretty stinking amazing. I'm pretty proud of us. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya.